morning my soccer universe um, straight ahead I'm gonna now talk only about games where I've seen that I've seen or I've watched some highlights uh, I actually only watched one game fully yesterday uh, just the way it happened um, but I will do a full roundup of uh, the leagues at least the five big leagues and maybe we look at some others too uh, um, tonight which will post tomorrow so uh, if you don't want us if you want to know a little bit more there just be patient um, but yeah yesterday um, the only game that I watched was the only really big game this weekend which is Arsenal against Manchester United uh, which was actually quite an interesting game uh, in the sense that I expected Man United with the high coming of the win in Paris and Arsenal being overrun by Rennes that United is gonna take this comfortably. I was wrong. I was absolutely wrong. Uh, Arsenal from the beginning didn't let United come into play. Um, they were really um, pressing, uh, aggressive, going forward and got an early goal through Shaka, uh, which took a really awful turn. I mean, if you saw the shot, this was going for the Heas, uh, from the Heas point of view, into the left corner and then it swerves and goes uh, to the right. Yes, it was very windy in London and you could see the uh, horrible weather uh, is going on. And it wasn't much better here. We had a stormy weather that actually really took a I gave our internet connection quite a beating. Uh, that was one reason why I didn't watch at least the afternoon Serie A games, because um, the internet kept going out. At least for the Man United game, I only missed maybe five minutes in the first half, or last 35th to 40th, somewhere there. I cannot tell you much, but the rest I saw. Um, I gotta say, uh, before I say anything more, I really like this third kit by United, the dark blue one, uh, because it makes so much sense. The sponsor is golden, the crest is golden, and I'm not I'm not in favor of more romantic crests, but in this case, it really looks very, very well. This is a well done kit. I really gotta say, um, it looks even better if it's uh, beaten by the wind and it's flopping around the players it's really uh, was really a bad weather day yesterday uh, and it was only you know uh, before the one nil uh, Lukaku actually had a big chance um, where he hit the a bar and a little bit later Lukaku even hit the post there was then a time Right around after 20 minutes, I mean, uh, United had this one big chance, and I think if they make this goal, the game takes another turn. But then Arsenal comes back uh, about a minute later, at most two, uh, and scores uh, the first goal. But up until at that point, if that ball goes in from Lukaku, it might take a different turn this game. But yeah, so Arsenal actually deservedly. I, Really, for the first 20 or 25 minutes, I thought that Arsenal was by far the better team and United couldn't get a foot on the ground. But then United clawed itself back into the game, which was to me quite interesting to see. And uh, it seemed to be towards the end of the first half almost unavoidable that Manchester United is going to score. And yeah, Lukaku hit another post uh, where Leno wouldn't have had a chance. I was trying to remember, I know he was, maybe he was there, but I, I, I think uh, it hit the post straight. Um, so Arsenal was, uh, was then a little bit on the, on the back foot and this continued uh, early in the second half. And only around the 60th minute you saw Arsenal coming again and having like a few tentative uh, goals forward and then a very soft penalty given that uh, I think Aubameyang, yeah, Aubameyang uh, converted to make it 2-0 uh, and from then on the game was more or less done and dusted. Um, United tried to score uh, but really couldn't get into the game and then the heavens opened and it was one big storm that came down. Uh, 
I was quite excited to see them. The Larsen hangs on, 2 0 uh, win, and now they are in fourth spot. Uh, completely unexpected. And now, uh, within this week's results, we can say that Ren beat Arsenal, Arsenal beat Menu, Menu beat PSG, so we have a clear transitive property here. Uh, let's take a quick Premier League. Uh, Chelsea gets. I don't know if I want to say lucky draw, they dominate proceedings, but they got a very late equalizer through as our moves. With more or less the first chance, makes the 1 0 in the second half. Chelsea gets the point. Um, not a great result, but you know, Wolves is best of the rest. Um, and Liverpool uh, gets a hard fought victory against Burnley, uh, which, you know, I don't see it anymore. I really thought Liverpool could become champions, but I don't see it anymore. Uh, Burnley took a lead through a direct corner, but there was clear interference of the goalkeeper, which was not seen. And yeah, England needs VAR. As much as VAR is sometimes messing things, England needs VAR. The Premier League needs VAR. This was a clear goal that should not have stood. Uh, thankfully, Firmino, Sané and Firmino again make it 3-1, but then in stoppage time, suddenly Burnley, out of almost nowhere, gets, I think it was their third shot on goal, gets the uh, second goal, and you could see Liverpool's nerves, but fortunately Mane makes it 4-2, so it still remains a title race. I think if Liverpool, not that it was a big uh, danger there, but if Liverpool would have dropped points in this one, I think the title race would have been over. Uh, at the moment it's just stay in position, you have the easier run in, potentially easier run in, so um, gotta see, uh, gotta see uh, how this is going, although I'm not sure how Tottenham will fare at City, uh, how Arsenal has to go I think to City as well. At the moment of how the things are going, but on the other side City has, has had a lot of injuries. So yeah, that was the English action and before we go to Italy, uh, let's quickly talk Spain. Uh, two, three results that I want to quickly mention. The first one was uh, Girona against Valencia, where <laughs> that was an interesting game in the sense that Valencia three times took the lead and Girona twice came back and it was only in the 90th minute that Valencia scores the winner. Um, but it was, you know, uh, more counter-attacking from Valencia from what I could gather from the highlights. It was not that, uh, probably, yeah, win probably was deserved, but it was not like uh, this clear and emphatic win where Valencia is trying to get in and uh, Girona is on the counter. No, quite the opposite. Uh, I think that was a rather even game. And the other one, staying in Valencia, there was a local derby between Levante and Villarreal where, um, yeah, Levante had, I think, a goal taken away by VAR because of offside, which was really, really, really close. Uh, they really tried everything to get it and no, didn't help. And then in addition, in stoppage time, uh, Villarreal scores two goals. And that actually means that I think they're leaving now the relegation zone at Levante is, yeah, has to worry a teeny bit. Let's put it that way. So yeah, that was that game. And then of course, via the lead against uh, Real Madrid, which also is a big VAR story. Uh, via the lead gets a penalty and is shot high up on, on in the stands. Uh, two minutes later, via the lead gets the 1 0. Taken out. So a few minutes later, they get a second goal, taking out Bavar, and then on the third time, I think it was a guy called Guardiola, of course you remember that name, uh, who then gets the 1-0 for Valladolid, I think in the 30th, and five minutes later, Varane makes it 1-1 for Real Madrid, uh, which was the halftime result. Benzema gets quickly thereafter a 2-1, and I think a penalty for 3-1. The highlights a lot for, for focus on the VAR, but overall it seems like the lead at that point for Real Madrid was more than deserved. And they even get a fourth one through Modric. So Real Madrid back to winning ways after a week of horror. Um, again, rumors are that Solari is out, which I personally wouldn't find fair. But 
uh, you know, I'm not a club president. If I was a prayer prayer president, I think I would try my best, unless otherwise indicated, I would try my absolute best to keep a coach at least for one, if not two years before I fire. Uh, I think the only reason to uh, to fire a coach prematurely is if you see that he cannot reach the team anymore. And maybe this was the case for Lopetegui. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Uh, Italy, that's the last thing we're gonna talk about because they saw a little bit. I mean, I saw quite some of Sampdoria against Atalanta, which was weird in the sense that Sampdoria played in white shirts with a dark blue and a red band across. I looked a whole lot like Genoa shirts. Maybe uh, it was black and red band and it's um, um, a reference to one of the founding uh, clubs. Uh, I always forget Sampierense and Sampdoria. Andrea Torre was a ship, I don't think it was that. But you know, one of those two uh, probably prob prob was referenced. But from a distance, that shirt looked a whole lot like a Genoa shirt. On the other side, I have to say, this shirt looked wonderfully retro. I mean, it had the tie down strings. So that was great uh, to see. Uh, the game, Atalanta took a lead, Sampdoria got an equalizer through a penalty, and then late, I think Gossens made uh, the two, made, they made a two one from a very acute angle. Uh, looked a lot easier than this was. And um, I also saw a teeny bit of Inter against Spal, Inter celebrating a 111th birthday. Um, but I then decided, I, th I, I thought that At 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 Atalanta Sampdoria is the better game. But I saw the supposed 1-0, which was taken away by VAR because Lautaro Martinez uh, took a handball. But Inter then got two goals in the second half and got a deserved win, which sets up the derby uh, next Sunday evening really, really, really nicely. Um, you know, you see the crest. I'm all in for Milan, of course. Hope Milan, Milan continues their winning streak, and I'm not unhappy that Inter is having a potentially tough Europa League match coming up. So that's gonna be quite interesting. Um, then there was the little matter of Sassuolo getting a point at Napoli. Um, actually, take a lead now. Na Napoli only equalizing late. I didn't see anything of that game, and I didn't see much of. Uh, Fiorentina Lazio, which actually looked to me like a really nice game, but I didn't see much of that either because my daughter, I again I said I'm gonna put the kids to sleep because my wife did it uh, the day before, but my little daughter just didn't want to fall asleep, was just waiting for her mother, and there I'm lying in bed trying to put her to sleep, and I'm just listening to the game instead of watching it. Uh, so quick highlights today, uh, to today in the morning and in the first half, I mean. Lazio should have been up by three goals uh, easily. Uh, there was a nice uh, shot by in, um, Immobile that was uh, deflected by the goalie to the post. Immobile thereafter makes just two, two, two minutes later makes with a great shot, uh, makes it one nil, and then there's another huge chance for Lazio. It should have been three nil at halftime. And seemingly Lazio thought it's safe because there was not much coming from Fiorentina. Well, never do that. Uh, Muriel ends up getting the equalizer for Fiorentina. And then both teams uh, are going for trying to get something over, but no one gets really gets the win, and therefore it ends. Um, the biggest news probably is the case I had to come off just before halftime with an injury. Um, that hurt because Kiesa is such a fun player to watch. But yeah, there you go. Um, I also saw that um, Bologna got a rather important win against Cagliari. Last week I just said that Cagliari might be out of trouble, now they're back into trouble. Uh, Bologna needs every point, so remains to be seen how things are going. Well, 
that was the roundup for Sunday. As, as I said, I'm gonna do a full roundup uh, today, uh, which probably will not include, yeah, most likely will not include the uh, Monday night games, uh, which I'm not gonna watch because I wanna keep my energies for the Champions League ahead. Uh, actually, looking forward to most of these days. Okay, let me know what you watched in the comments below, whether you agree with my assessments of at least the one game that I described rather uh, in detail, maybe also once here at Fiorentina. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these, uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.